guys and welcome to Soundtrap Studio Lesson 3. So today we're going to look at input in MIDI, um, what that is um, and how it works um, in the Soundtrap Studio and how that kind of opens up ways for you as a artist or producer to create your own original ideas. Um, so far we've looked at in previous lessons, go check those out, links in the description below. We looked at dragging audio into uh, our projects and also creating our own original drum beat. But today we're going to look at how to put input MIDI and kind of create the start of a song. So I'm on uh, Soundtrap Studio, so if I click Enter Studio up here, it's going to make the screen a little bit bigger. And wait for it to load up. Okay, again, we're going to click uh, Music. So I'm going to straight away go down to 80 BPM. Now the reason for this is because I want to create something that's got a bit of a lo-fi uh, hip-hop vibe. I want to create something that's a bit lo-fi hip-hop in its vibe. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Patterns Beatmaker and I'm going to create pretty much the same rhythm that I created in the last um, tutorial video. So if you haven't checked that out, like I say, the links are in the description uh, below. So I'm just going to add this in and just quickly do this. So as you can see, I am creating um, the beat from the previous lesson. Um, I really like that beat, so I want to keep it that way. So I'm just getting a couple of um, text messages while I'm doing this. So I'm just going to quickly mute my phone as to not be interrupted in this video. Okay, so uh, it was there, I believe, and I believe it was there. So let's just see how this beat sounds. Yeah, very nice, I like it. So I'm going to just change the kit sound. Um, last time I used red, so I'm going to use that again. I'm just going to add some reverb. Just to give it a bit more depth. Um, I'm going to go over the effects in my next video in Lesson 4 and how uh, they can help improve your song and your performance. So. That is the beat that we've got. So if I exit that, this exit button here, you'll see it there. I'm just going to loop it up to eight there, so the nine. Grab my loop marker and drag that to there. And then that is in. Very nice. Okay, so this is the bit that's a bit tricky. So first things first. Okay, you're going to need to know about chord sequences. So if you don't know about chord sequences, in most cases, um, I know people will probably hit me up in the comments section below about this. Um, and say, yeah, but what about this song? What about this song? What about this style of music? For as a general rule, as a beginner, it's nice to think about going with the Roman numerals of major or minor chord sequences. So if you go onto Google and type in, like I have done here, Roman numerals chords C major. Okay, C major for me, same as um, is the easiest chord sequence to look at. Um, just like um, A minor for me is the easiest chord sequence uh, to look at. So as I've scrolled down here, you'll see that I've highlighted the major chord progressions here. I'm just going to enlarge that in this tab. Now you'll see that it says major chord progressions, and it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in Roman numerals. Underneath that it says major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. Okay, and then underneath you'll see under, under 1 you've got A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So what that's telling us is that if our first chord is C, which is C major, Okay, then our second chord would be a minor D, our third chord would be a minor E, fourth would be a major F, fifth would be a major G, minor A is the sixth, and then the seventh is a B diminished. We're going to use arguably the most common chord progression of all time. We're going to use the one, five, six, four. So to repeat that, that's the one, five, six, four. So we're going to use the chord C, G, a and F. If you look, that's C major, G major, A minor, and then F major. Okay. Now, as an extra bonus point, if you wish to find out how to play them, if you type in C major on piano, click images, it will tell you what notes you need to play. So if you have a C chord, the notes are C, E, and G. Okay. So if we go back to our track, 
what I'm going to do is go and add new track and I'm going to click piano and keyboards. Okay, you will see straight away what's quite nice about Soundtrap. They bring up the piano. If you press these keys attached to your actual keyboard, they play the notes. Okay, for me personally, I'm not that bothered about doing that. I prefer to input them here. And the great thing about Soundtrap, which I've already noticed, is that they actually have a really great way of doing this. So you'll see that as I hover here, there's a plus. If you click in the slot, you'll see a box appears in your piano grid also appears. But what I want to do is just exit that first. And I want to go down here to the right. And it says adjust end. If you click and drag that to the end, that will then take up your eight bars. If you double click in that MIDI box again, it will bring up your piano roll. So the chords C, I'm just going to drag that okay, for one full bar. So the chord, the notes were C, E, G. Okay, the great thing is now you put in a major chord. Now, one thing I did to copy the note is I just, if you're on a MacBook, it's option, and I think it's control or option on or something like that on Windows. If you hold that down and then left click, you will just copy it, which saves you a lot of time. Because this is a major chord, the steps are exactly the same. So I can click, drag all those notes, press option, and just put the first note at the bottom onto G. And then we've got G major, okay? Which is great. It's a nice, easy way that we can put these chords in. So I'm gonna get G major, and then I'm gonna take this to A. Now the problem we've got here is that A minor is going to be one semitone in the middle note down one. So instead of being D flat or C sharp, we're actually going to bring it back to C. So it's A, C, A, C and E. We bring back the middle note down one semitone and that makes it a minor, okay? So then, because I don't want a minor chord, I'm going to grab the G again, press option and bring that to F. Okay, now if I play that all together, so at the bottom here you'll see that you can fast forward and rewind. If I play that together with the drums. Excellent, okay. So now I've got all this extra space, okay, which I've not got any notes in. You probably guess what I'm gonna do here. Click, grab every single note there, drag from where it says C, and just put that into the next grid. Go all the way to the start, and you will get the chord sequence play all the way through. Okay, now to make my piece a bit more interesting, I talked about earlier about the major chord progressions. In lo-fi hip-hop, we get a lot of seventh chords because it's quite jazzy. So what I'm gonna do is on the C major chord, I'm also gonna add the B note into that chord. So if I go up to the B note and double click that in, you'll hear how that gives it a bit more flavor. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing um, with A, so I'm going to add the seventh note onto that. So you've got A, okay, just gives them two chords a bit of a nice um, added change, really, just makes them a bit more interesting to listen to um, in this genre of music, anyway. So I'm just going to do the same there, and I'm going to do the same again. So you'll notice that it's quite a fast process of doing this. Okay, so that's how you bring in the piano roll and how you add in the MIDI chords, okay? So go find your chord progressions if you want to do major or minor. It's all there. One, five, six, four is the easiest one to kind of begin with to get your kind of ideas of how you want to build a chord sequence. And then finally, um, if you need to find the chords, just type in C major on piano and it'll tell you which notes to put down, okay? So if I go back to instrument, it says here pianos, like the drums before in the previous lesson, if you click there, it will load up the different sounds of pianos. 
Now I'm going to go for something a little bit different. I'm going to go for the Rhodes. Okay, the Rhodes piano. And when I now play that, it will change the sound of the piano. And now it's starting to sound a lot more like low fi hip hop. Okay, now the final thing I'm going to add is just a bass for this lesson. So if we go and add new track, guitar and bass. Okay, same thing as before. Okay, you've got that. If I click there, it will load up. I want a bass, so I'm going to click bass electric. I'm just going to go on a clean jazz bass because again, lo-fi hip hop is quite jazzy, a bit funky. Okay, so again, I'm, all I'm doing here is tapping the keys to find what works quite nicely. But I'm going to put it in the piano roll again. So just to recap, you press the X here, click the plus box in there, get rid of the X a minute for again, bottom right, click and drag, and then we fill, fill um, everything we've got here. So just for this tutorial, all I'm going to do is put the notes in here. So you've got C1. Now, instead of completely mimicking the piano here, I'm actually going to split my notes in half. So how I did that, just to clarify, the bottom right again, you get this little cursor, and then just go there, and I'm just going to put it there. Again, I'm going to cheat, highlight them like that, click Option, go up to G. Then I'm going to go to A. Then finally, you guessed it, I'm going to go to F. Okay, so now if I play that, in fact, I'll just... Do the same again and copy that and put that all in there. All right, so if I play that. Yep, sounds very nice. Okay guys, and that's going to bring us to the end of this lesson. So have a play with that, bring in some piano, bring in whatever instrument you want, start thinking about adding some chords, remember to go to Google, uh, go on to um, Roman numerals chords, type in the chord itself, C major piano, find out what the notes are, and yeah, just have some fun, start creating some beats, start creating some ideas. Uh, any comments, questions, queries, hit me up in the comment section below, I'll always be looking to respond to everyone who I can. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more music content, soundtrack content. Uh, we're going to look at Soundation and BandLab as well um, in the future, as well as, um, as I've said in the previous videos, big anime and gaming fans, so I'll also be uploading videos regarding that as one of my, also, uh, one of my other hobbies. So thank you very much again, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.